In this tutorial, you'll learn how to use the Object Inspector to easily find and manipulate any element of your design. Before we get started, if you're watching this video on YouTube, you'll find a link in the description below that will take you to our tutorial page on Corel's Discovery Center. Here you'll find a written copy of this tutorial to follow along with. To open the Object Inspector, navigate to Window, Inspectors, and choose Objects. In the Inspector, by default you'll find a list of every element in your document sorted by group, layer, and page. You can also change your view to see only layers and objects, or only pages. The inspector's object thumbnails make it easy to locate and select any element. Just click the arrows to access objects contained by groups. Even similar looking objects can be easily identified by the orientation of their thumbnails. If you make changes to an object on your page, its thumbnail will instantly update in the inspector as well. You can even change the size of the thumbnails by using the slider at the bottom of the inspector. Use the buttons right next to the slider to create new layers, new master layers, which will appear on every page, or to delete selections from the inspector. If you select an element in the inspector, it'll be selected in your document as well. If you select an element on a different page than the one you're currently viewing, Corel Draw will automatically navigate to it. You can hold Shift to select multiple consecutive objects, or hold Command to select multiple objects out of order, as long as those objects are all on the same page. Right-click on elements in the inspector to bring up context menus, which will differ between pages, layers, and objects. You can customize the names of any type of element in the inspector by right-clicking and choosing Rename. This will allow you to utilize the convenient search bar at the top of the inspector to quickly pull up elements from complex designs. Simply drag and drop elements to reorder them on a page, or assign them to different groups, layers, or pages. If you hover your cursor over objects in the inspector, you'll reveal the button to hide them on your page. Right next to hide is the lock button. Use this button to lock objects position and dimensions and keep them from being deleted. If you hover over a layer or over guides, you'll see an additional icon that looks like a printer. Toggling this icon determines whether or not these elements will be included when you print. By default, it will be on for layers and off for guides, which you usually don't want to be included in your print job. And one last helpful tip for how to use your object inspector. Now, if you look closely at each of your layers in the inspector, you'll find a small bar on the right-hand side that displays the color of that layer's wireframes. Simply click on that bar to change the wireframe color for that layer. Easily toggle wireframe view on and off for individual layers by command clicking those color bars. Changing wireframe colors can help you differentiate between layers in wireframe view. And it's a really easy way to ensure that all of your objects are on the correct layers. And that's it. Now you know the basics of the objects inspector. If you're watching this video on YouTube, you'll find a link in the description below that will take you to our tutorial page on Corel's Discovery Center. Here you'll find a written copy of this tutorial to follow along with.